So in this video here, we're going to see how we can do live inference with a streamlit application using Ultralix Yolovi 8. We're both going to run it on a video and also a webcam. With the streamlit application, you can both run segmentation, update detection, post estimation, and so on. Everything is integrated in there. So it's basically just using the browser. You can have a UI, you can specify different parameters and so on. You can play around with the confidence score. You can have track bars, pretty much just this whole interactive user interface build around the optic detection models. So everything can be in there. We can swap out the different models. You can just choose with the Yolo 8 models that you want to use. So let's just jump straight into it and see how we can run live inference with a streamlit application. So to start with, let's jump into the Ultralytics documentation. If we go inside the new solutions, we have all the real world computer vision projects and applications that you can use out of the box. We pretty much have videos for all of them in here and you can just copy paste the code snippets. So if you go down at the bottom, we have this live inference with a streamlit application using Ultralytics v 8 Here we have an introduction to it. The good thing about streamlit is that it works in Python. So you can create really simple, easy to use streamlit applications. It's just a few lines of code that you need to set up. And then we have a user interface that we can build on top of our object detection and basically just have live video streams, live webcam streams and so on running in your browser. So here we can see a short snippet into it, but we're going to take a look at the whole application in just a second. So the range of the live inference, seamless real-time update detection, user-friendly deployment, so you can deploy these streamlit applications as well. And then you can have a user interface up and running with just a few lines of code. If we go a bit further down, we can then see the streamlit application code. We just need to run this command line command or inside Python from solutions.inference, and it's going to run it on your local browser. If you want to use your own models, you can also specify a path to the model once you call this inference function. So this is pretty easy to use as well. So let's just jump straight into it and see how it works and run some inference with a Yolovi 8 model. So I've just opened up a new terminal. Again, it's either going to use the CPU or GPU if you have that available on your computer and it's going to take care of all of it automatically. All the models will be downloaded automatically web interfaces and so on. It is basically just going to open that up. So YOLO streamlet dash predict. Let's now run the command and it should open it up here on our local host. Loading Autolytics live inference app. And now we can see our network URL, external URL, and we also have our local URL. We can copy paste that into our browser. There we go. And now we are running this on our local host. So over here to the left, we can specify if we want to run a webcam or a video file, the classes that we want to detect, so person, bicycle, and car. And we can have these drop down menus. You can go in and fine tune and customize all of it from the source code. And you can also build your own custom applications on top of Streamlit. We can choose the model here. So we have classification, segmentation, post estimation, RNA bounding boxes. All of these different tasks, they are already integrated and you can use them directly in here. It will download the models automatically. So you can just choose which of the models that you want to use. So just go with the Yolovi 8 nano segmentation model. And we have the Coco classes. So let's just do person and bicycle and car. And we can also run optic tracking on top of it directly. So again, you can have all these parameters over on one side. You can specify your own parameters and so on. But this is really easy to spin up a whole project around a computer vision application with Yolovi 8. You can use your own custom models, custom videos and so on. It's a really good tool to show for customer, clients, colleagues or just your friends. So this is a really nice tool tool for that. We can specify the confidence threshold. You can play around with that. So let's now go with the default one. And we can also specify the intersection over union. So to start with here, let's just go in and run it on a webcam. We have all the parameters. We can just hit start. Right now it's going to take my phone here, use that as a webcam and we can just turn it around and we should run this nano segmentation model and also run optic tracking on top of it. This is just running on my MacBook M2 CPU. So we get some pretty good results. We can see the frames per seconds down at the bottom left corner. So around 12 frames per second and this really nice segmentation mask around me. We can even turn around here. You see that it detects me as a person. We have the ID tracking and we can just move it around. So this is how you can run live inference, show it to your colleagues and friends. This is really cool. So again, we can also going to use it on a video stream. So instead of choosing webcam, we can choose video stream, but we can also go up and run post estimation, for example. So let's just try with the nano or like a small post estimation model. Now, right now we just need to download the model. It will do that automatically. We can hit start train and we should now be able to run the post estimation. So now we can see that the post estimation is up and running. It's pretty much just swap out all the models here relatively easy. It's going to take care of all the download of the model. 
and we can also see how many frames per second. It's going to detect if you have a GPU available or a CPU, and then it's just going to use that hardware. So this is a really cool and awesome feature. You should definitely go in and check it out. If you're creating your own custom models and so on, just always open up this Streamlit application, run the live inference in there, test out different parameters. You can apply object tracking and so on. You can even specify the custom model that you have used. So this is a really good way to just test it out, see some cool stuff, and everything is running on your local host in your browser, and you can even go in and deploy these Streamlit applications. So thank you a lot for watching this video here. I hope you learned a ton. This is definitely a nice and cool demo. Go in and check it out, and then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.